Next stop, Trua. The Forgotten Land. Hey everybody, Tim Anderson here, aka Runfell, and welcome to the latest First Impressions video that I do here on YouTube. And today we're going to be talking about Lost Ark, which just went into closed beta as of last night, November 14th, or yesterday afternoon, I should say. Um, and I got a key through MMORPG.com, figured I'd give it a shot, uh, because this is in another one of those games where I'm kind of like, eh, it doesn't look like it's right up my alley, but I like having lots of options and so I will give it a shot so we're going to be talking about it today here uh, in this video uh, if this is your first time here do me a favor subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get updates for other content that I do I do lots of different things here we do the Mondays and MMORPG show Monday musings Lotro cooking um, Star Wars Yield of Public Lord of the Rings stuff uh, game reviews book reviews all that other stuff and if you like this video let me know with a little thumbs up and leave a comment below. Join our Discord if you'd like. Links are below. And I apologize as we get going because I am stuffy and I have a head cold. And I might be, you know, sniffling a little bit during this video. So this is not the normal uh, <laughs> way I talk. It just is what it is. It's that time of year. So let's dive in. Um, first and foremost, before I get to the negatives, because I do have some negative takeaways from this game. Um... Let's talk about the positives. This is a visually stunning game. I don't really care for the character models so much, but the vistas. Um, this screenshot behind me is a really good example. I mean, they have some amazing concept art. And just the visuals of the game itself are just phenomenal. Um, there, there were a couple instances during the preview, or, or the prologue, I should say, not the preview. The prologue, which is, you know, an hour and a half or so. I didn't really track the time. Um, there were a couple of moments when I just actually stopped and went, wow, this is actually really, really cool looking. So on a positive note, um, everything looks amazing um, in terms of the world itself. Uh, they have created a very fantastical environment and it looks really well. It runs really, really well as well. It's a fairly seamless experience. I'm on a 1080, which is an older card and I had no problems whatsoever. I didn't really tweak the settings. I just ran the game as it loaded and had no issues. Um, I don't like the character models, but that's never a big deal for me because in this game, you're really not going to be, in my in my opinion, this is not like a traditional MMORPG in the sense that it's going to be a 3D avatar that you're going to be closing, you know, coming in close up on and doing screenshots and things like this. It's a, you know, top-down isometric action RPG in the style of, say, Diablo or uh, Path of Exile. Um, and therefore, my avatar isn't that big of a deal to me. However, you are doing lots of cutscenes where you're going to be up close and personal with your character as well as other NPCs. And I'm just, I'm not digging the art style of the characters, um, the character models and stuff. But that doesn't take away from my enjoyment of a game pretty much ever. Um, art style is an art style. And as long as the game is playable and fun, uh, then I don't really care about what character models look like. So world art and the level design and all of that from the world building perspective this is top notch i mean 10 out of 10 in my mind for how this game looks and plays um getting into the actual gameplay if you've played diablo or path of exile or any of those types of you know top down action rpgs you're going to be right at home here it, this is standard fare there is nothing here that's breaking the wheel they're not really getting outside of the box you are just doing your traditional um you know large swaths of mobs is what this is all about to make you feel like an epic hero um I used a controller. I know that the game can be played either with mouse and keyboard or a controller. I was really happy with the fact that this came with native controller support. Um, as opposed to, say, uh, I was kind of disappointed that um, New World didn't have built-in support for controllers, even though they said that it was going to, and then they decided not to at the last minute. I was still able to get a controller to work with New World because I just ran Steam through the 
big bo big big box or whatever they call it um, when you run it in maximized mode. I didn't have to do that with Lost Ark. Lost Ark actually has built-in controller support. So you know I have an Xbox controller plugged in. Um, I've had it for years, and uh, it it was a fairly good experience. I don't like to play action RPGs with mouse and keyboard. I really like the controller because you could just seamlessly run around and do stuff, and it plays really well on the controller in my mind. So the way that I played it. I liked it on the controller. It's very smooth. Everything worked really well. Combat is just mindless kind of face rolling on the keyboard type of thing where you're just cutting through huge amounts of mobs. There was nothing difficult about it. Um, it is rather satisfying, as with most of these action RPGs, where you just wipe out, you know, 50 mobs that can barely touch you and you get done and you're like, yes, I am the hero, you know, so that that part of it was pretty well done. Um, I haven't gotten deep into any of the like co-op or dungeon stuff. I know this game has some of that in it, as I understand. Um, so I can't really speak to that. But just from again, this is first impressions. I played it last night for a couple of hours. Um, and what I, what I played was enjoyable, um, and, and was something that, um, wasn't overly difficult. Uh, mechanics are extremely simple. You're, it's got a traditional level up your skills and you can do better things with your skills as you level up the skills and all this other stuff. So there's, again, this, there was nothing groundbreaking here. This is just another action RPG that is just out there for people who like those types of games. It's not my preferred type of game. Um, I'm not a big fan of, you know, I, I do play the Diablo series. I played all of them. I didn't like uh, Path of Exile. I didn't like that game. Um, I tried it and just was not impressed. Um, I don't really see any similarities. Like, I like isometric games like, like Pillars of Eternity, you know, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. I do like those types of games. Um, this does not fall into that category in my mind because it's action uh, as opposed to turn-based um, or pause-based. So, um, not my favorite type of game, but I did enjoy what I played last night. So, there are a lot of positives um, to this in my mind. It's just that it's not groundbreaking, and so in, in, in my mind, it's difficult to say, oh, this is an amazing game that you just absolutely have to play because I don't feel that it is. It's just, it has some standard features. They're not trying to really stir things up here. They've just created a very standard uh, action RPG, and it was fun, you know? However, and now I'm going to talk about the negative. <laughs> I am a stickler for good writing, and good voice acting and good storytelling in general. This game has none of those. Sorry, it doesn't. Um, there might be other people out there who disagree with me. I immediately, as soon as they started, you know, as soon as you get in and the angel comes to you and it's like, you know, you're the chosen one. And then that gets repeated throughout the prologue, how you're the chosen one. You're the one that destiny has called. And you've got these magical abilities that allow you to open doors and do things that other people can't do. And you've, they, they don't see the little glowing thing that you do and all this other shit. I absolutely hate when a game props you up to be the chosen one right from the beginning because then it in my mind that takes away any sort of independence you have in the storyline because you're automatically assumed that you're going to succeed at every single thing you do because you're the chosen one you're the destinied one you're the prophesied one you're the big big bad savior that's going to come along and 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 save the world so that immediately took me out the dialogue is atrocious I mean, it's atrocious. It's like, honestly, this is dialogue for a seven-year-old. Um, and I know that this is a port of a Korean game, so it's not, you know, we're not getting native English text. We're getting translated versions. It's atrocious. So bad. The writing is just so, 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 so bad. And that is really difficult for me. Also, the story at this point, based on the prologue is so just goddamn generic that I got done with the prologue and I just kind of sat there shaking my head going, really? Really? That's what you gave me during the prologue and that's supposed to make me want to keep playing this game? Like, eh, meh. 
So my first impressions um, of this are that um, the story is horrific from what I've seen so far. The writing is horrific. The voice acting is very bad. Um, there's not a lot of it. Um, there is some of it. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, it's not fully voiced. Um, some of the key points are, and the voice acting is not that great. So that that part of it is very negative to me. Um, I will say this. Um, I did have fun playing the couple hours I played last night. I am going to be diving a little deeper into this uh, through the closed beta because I do want to see a little bit more and see if the story gets better. Um, but I wasn't very impressed, and I'm not. I don't have high hopes for the storyline based on what I've seen so far. But there does seem to be a core of something here with these lost arcs that you're supposed to be tracking down. Um, I'd like to find out more about that. And and again, visually the game is super stunning. So there's a part of me that likes playing games that are pretty, and I'll keep pushing along just so that I can get some cool vistas. But traditionally, that's usually not enough to keep me playing long term. So I don't know. I'm going to wait and see. But for now, I would say, is it worth playing? If you got access to a key or you get your hands on a closed bit issue key, sure, why not? It's a free thing to play and try out. Um, I would say overall, if I gave it a rating of 1 to 10, I would give it a 6 at most. Um, because the, the, the writing story and voice acting is so bad that it just immediately wiped like <laughs> a lot of it off the, the map for me. But I am going to keep playing it and seeing if it gets better. Um, it was enjoyable. So hopefully that helps you make a decision on your end. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about this game if you've played it so far. Like the video. Dislike it if you want to, too. That all helps with the algorithm. And of course, if you want to follow along for more first impressions and other videos that I do here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you get updates for all the future content. And I will see everybody in the next video. Stay safe. Have fun gaming. Until next time, everybody.